Look at me. Hey, look at me. I'm the captain now. Hey. This is the Dogwood Chronicles. This is the feast of John Jones. Not that John Jones. Not the John Jones who was a light heavyweight MMA fighter in the UFC. I had mixed feelings about him. He was good. Uh, I have remembrances of him being arrogant, which I, I never liked that. And I also have remembrances of him being, ah, must you pull, being, had the reputation of being a good guy. I may be wrong on that one, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is John Jones, born in 1559 in England. Uh, I believe he became a Franciscan, left to go to France because of the persecutions in England of the Catholic Church. Uh, which is a very common saint issue. Um, he went to France. He went to Italy. He came back to England. They always come back. It would seem once you've escaped the persecution of the English and the Protestants that you wouldn't go back knowing what they usually do to those people. But he goes back. He gets imprisoned. He is imprisoned with a famous guy whose name I forget, and I only know him because of reading about the saints, but another guy, Clive? No. Anyway, he is imprisoned with this other guy who also was a saint. Um, he's tortured, of course, because they, yeah, I don't know what kind of people go to, I mean, our, we have jails, prisons, and the guards guard the people, but they don't torture them, at least, not, they don't put them on the rack and they don't do all these different things uh, that we know of. Um, but they tortured him for two years. He escaped. They caught him again. They were bringing him to execution. They decided not to get a crowd there because there might be a mob and they might revolt because there was some, uh, I guess, good feelings for the Catholics, whatever. Um, so they woke up the executioner, Topcleaf, not Wycleaf, but Topcleaf, because he was the Topcleaf. Not the Wycleaf, but he was the Topcleaf. Um, hey, let's stop for a second. Let me finish this. Uh, they get the executioner. He's woke, awakened so early that he's not even, doesn't even remember to bring the rope. So they go back to bring the rope. In the meantime, um... John Jones is preaching to the crowd saying that he's being uh, martyred or executed for the crime of being a Catholic priest. Why would that be a cr bringing God and the church that God left to the people was a crime in England? And not because he was unpatriotic or because he didn't love his country. So he loved his country. But they killed him for his faith. Uh, he was, I believe, hanged, drawn and quartered, and then chopped to pieces, and they put his body pieces up on stakes to show everyone to uh, be a warning for anyone else who had the audacity to want to be a Catholic priest, or a Catholic for that matter. No, we're not going that way, this way. Um, so, yeah. The Protestant Church, the Church of England, pretty sick people. Always into the per always into the torture. Always drawing and quartering us Catholics. They love to do that. And hang us. So I guess they hang you till within an inch of your life and then they cut you in to quarter you. Um so how's the frog pond doing? Well the Water growth is growing, spreading, and getting bigger. Frogs should have no reason to not be able to get in and out of that. There's branches. There's ways out. If you're as smart as a frog, you should be able to get in and out of a pond. Uh, so let's ask John Jones to pray for us. Let's pray for the souls in purgatory. 
Let's pray for our country that we would have a conversion of the Americas that would be an example to the world. Uh, let's ask the saints to pray for us and pray for the souls in purgatory. Stop.